My name is Jamma McKeown. I was born in the front room of 65 Rockbrook Drive in Ardoyne. I lived there for 17, 18 years and then moved to Cork for 9 years. And in Cork I had two beautiful sons. And then we moved back to Belfast. Um, we ended up living in Hundine Gardens. Our family home was Hundine Gardens. Um, now I'm actually living in Glastrumman. It's a little hamlet just outside Newcastle. It's absolutely beautiful. You look out the front window and you're looking at the moorings in your back and you're looking at the Irish Sea. Well, there's good ones and bad ones. Um, I was seven when the conflict started. Of course, I grew up in that. I, uh, that played a big part in my life. I've seen a lot of things happening, as did everybody. I lost my daddy. Um, he was killed in July 72. Uh, it was hard after that. I just, I was left uh, Holy Cross and going to St. James. So that was a big transition period as well. Like, life wasn't, it wasn't great. It was very mixed up. But then there was this brilliant sense of community. There was comradeship. There was... You could have walked down to anybody's house and got your dinner. People made sure that you were okay. You didn't sit in the house constantly. Uh, you were out playing. Whether it's something swing in the long post, topscotch, ball, down playing camogie. Although I was never actually quite good at that. I think now what the community needs in our dine is a lot of space for the children. When I lived in Cork, there had to be so much green area for the population. It was brilliant. They had the freedom down there and of playing on the green, digging it up, playing football. There would be nobody out checking at them. You know, stop picking the ball, stop doing this, stop doing that. It's because they had the freedom and they had the green right? and they had parks uh, that weren't vandalised. They need freedom. They need they actually need training for jobs as well. There's a lot of great kids coming out of the R Down now and the education is, is fantastic. You have to get the people together. You have to do more cross community stuff. What we need for the future of the people of R Down and, and the other communities is funding.